My name is Aaron. I've been a SWIFT for 24 years. My position is I am the road test evaluator and LCQT instructor. As a road test evaluator, I evaluate uh, students when they come off their mentor truck and make sure that they're safe and make sure that they belong at SWIFT. Some of the other positions I've had at SWIFT, I started out as a uh, over the road driver for about 12 years. Then I've worked on the yard since 2010. And then I became the backup for Scotty Adams, who was the road examiner at the time. He moved up to the uh, terminal safety coach and then I took over his position full time as road test evaluator. Well, the first thing is they always tell me, I'm, I'm so nervous right now, I'm like, I get that. Whenever you have a test hanging over your head and you've worked so long to accomplish this goal and you have to get through this one last thing before you can, so I get it. I get it, I understand I was sitting right in that chair 24 years ago. I understand it, I'm not gonna do anything to make that worse for you, that's why it's important I keep my tone even. I don't get excited if they do anything wrong. I just tell them, okay, this is what you've done wrong. This is how you can do it better the next time. 90% of the time, that is effective. You get nothing by getting angry or upset. These people are brand new. That's the way I look at it. I just tell them that everybody that starts this business is exactly where they were at. And just work through it. Ask questions. Ask other experienced drivers. Most of us will be happy to share our experiences with you and kind of mentor you along unofficially. That's what it should be all about out here is a, a, a giant family. We're all in the same business. We all have the same goals. We should work together. I was an Army Ranger with the 75th Ranger Regiment out of Fort Lewis, Washington. Um, deployments overseas, deployments in various locations, some of which I can't talk about, but uh, you know, Africa, Bosnia, Germany, and um, switched over midterm to uh, become a helicopter mechanic. And I finished my career as a helicopter mechanic. MOS was 11 X-ray, which was the, my infantry side, my ranger side. And then 68 Hotel was my secondary MOS, which was aircraft mechanic for Black Hawk helicopters. The experience of mission oriented they, they always say mission first, but people always. I'm a firm believer in that. And military people are unique in the fact that we are mission oriented we're task oriented We have the discipline and the drive and the motivation to accomplish whatever task trucking has put before us. Trucking is a good career for veterans because it allows them to maybe explore more than they ever have. Also gives them time to contemplate because you do spend a lot of time behind the wheel alone and you do spend a lot of time thinking. So it allows you to work through some things if you're having some issues with your service. That's, it really helped me out. Just the, the solitude of it and being away from the hustle and bustle that may trigger some negative feelings in soldiers. I tried to get out, like if I was in Atlanta, Georgia, I would go to Six Flags, you know, if I had the time. Niagara Falls, I got to see that. You know, just go up into Canada, you know. I, I really enjoy just traveling, I always have. Um, they treat me well, they don't mess with my money. Which, which is a really good thing, you know. I like getting paid on time every time. And uh, I got, I've been fortunate to work with a lot of good people. Support staff is very important to us drivers out there on the road because without it, we just can't function. 